Hey everybody, Eagle Run 23 here. We have some hot 8.6 blackout news for you. But before we jump into that, a quick word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Unbranded AR. They are makers of this really cool billet lower, billet upper. I had them custom Cerakoted. They've got all sorts of really great completion parts. In fact, they just sent me a box of goodies. They have great prices on gas tubes, gas blocks. We got castle nuts and end plates. They've got this really cool minimalist style butt stock. Really good stuff at a really good price. You can also have anything you want etched on to your upper receiver. So cool. I think you'll like it. Check it out. Link is down below and pinned in the comments. So over the last couple of weeks, I've been talking to several people in the 8.6 Blackout community. We've been talking to barrel manufacturers, bullet designers, bullet manufacturers, uh, all sorts of different people in the community. Some of the things they're telling me, I wanna make sure that we're all aware of. I've learned some really interesting things and most of it comes down to this now famous one in three twist rate. There are definitely some rumors in the industry about the twist rate and about the SAMI specifications, which we're expecting to hear from in 2024. There's also some rumors that someone else has submitted a 8.6 in a one in five twist. So my sources here wish to remain anonymous, which I can fully understand. One of them here I have a quote from, he says, there's no way this gets approved to Sammy Specs in a one in three twist rate. He goes on to talk about some of the dangers of the one in three. Uh, the fact that you can load a 308 in there, uh, the fact that the twist rate and the pressures and uh, ruining some suppressors, things like that. So I don't know how much Sammy looks into some of those outside criteria. Uh, it's not something that I know very much about and hadn't really even been exposed to it until this whole 8.6 blackout thing came out on our channel a couple years ago. So it is entirely possible that fast forward 6, 8, 10, 12 months, we have the 8.6 blackout ammunition that is loaded for a 1 and 3 and also separate products that are loaded for a 1 and 5, even a 1 and 6.5. It's important to remember that 8.6 blackout is really special as a subsonic round. So we do have a speed limit on that subsonic round, and that is whatever the speed of sound is in your area. For most people, that's around 1050, could be a little more, a little bit less. If you were to take this bullet in the supersonic format and really push on it, it is possible that you're gonna end up in a dangerous spot there as well. When I first came across this round, I just fell in love with the idea of uh, that rotational energy, and it could be that that's not really all that it's cracked up to be, there's still a lot of testing out there that's being done. And these bullet manufacturers have really been on the forefront of that. You're seeing people like Discreet Ballistics who are doing a lot of testing with hunting animals. They're taking those animals back and looking at the wound cavity and things like that. There's also lots of tests being done from bullet manufacturers to get them to open at certain speeds. And if they're too fast or too slow, they're not performing the way that they should. I really do like this round because I saw that it was pushing bullet design in a cool direction. And I still think that that's very true. I know you guys are fans of the 8.6 Blackout like me. There's still several people in the comments that I see who are not fans or maybe haven't converted yet. Uh, I'm still very much interested in the caliber. And from this channel, we are going to continue to just push the caliber in general. I would like to see this caliber grow, be sustainable, be on the shelves so everyone can experience it. About a month ago, we did a series of videos that I titled the 8.6 Blackout TED Talks. It was just basically a knowledge dump of everything that I knew and uh, what I had learned and my experiences. We started with the bullet weights. We went through supersonic, subsonic. We talked a lot about the components. And there are many videos on my channel about how to build your gun, mostly in the gas format. We are going to be working on a bolt gun very soon as well. I really like this round and I think that it's going to be around for a while and uh, we're just going to keep going with it, doing all sorts of testing and hunting. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for commenting. Uh, remember, collectively, we know everything. So we'll share our information down in the comments. All right, I got to go. Thanks for watching. Eagle Run 2-3. We'll see you next time.